Ariana Grande, and you're watching Celeb Secrets for You. behind this lovely, lovely show, A Snow White Christmas. What inspired you guys to bring this to America and just have it be the amazing show that it was? Uh, my uh, five-year-old, actually, I've got a five-year-old and uh, George, and I really wanted to introduce him to theatre, but I thought that looking around, there wasn't really theatre that was applicable to his kind of age that he would enjoy. We could go and see The Grinch, but I thought he would be scared. You know, Christmas Carol is, is a little bit boring. Nutcracker's even more boring. And I just didn't think George would appreciate seeing any of those theatres. I really wanted to introduce him to theatre. And it's something that I was brought up with in, in the UK. In the UK, this type of show, Panto, is the first experience a child gets of going to the theatre that he lives through. And then he takes it on to go into a West End and seeing Broadway shows. So it's really kind of like the icebreaker for the kids of seeing live theatre. And, and he came up with that idea and then approached his mom, who has been directing hundreds and hundreds of pantos in England, and said, hey mom, why don't we bring this to America? And so they then embarked on this brave journey to bring American panto, really, to life. And I jumped on the bandwagon because I'm a, I, I grew up in theatre and I'm such a firm believer of, of having theatre be a conduit to bring families together at any time of the year, but most importantly, at the holiday time. You are here at the Snow White Christmas. What are you most excited to see on the show tonight? Uh, really the rain. I mean, goodness knows it's made it feel very British here in Southern California and we needed the rain as well. Now, if we could have arranged it to be snowing, that would have been perfect, wouldn't it? Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm thrilled to see the entire show. What I love about it is it's turned from a British traditional pantomime into an American pantomime. Because everybody knows now you boo and you cheer and everything else. And there's no real sort of smutty double innuendos. It's real family entertainment. So a lot of fun. Very excited. Classic English art form pantomime. And so it'll be interesting to see whether they stay with all the, um, all the elements that you expect in a, in a classic English pantomime. I am so excited. I love Lithgow Family Productions and all their plays, so I'm really, really excited to come see it. So you play Snow White in a Snow White Christmas. What has been your favorite experience about being able to do this wonderful part? Uh, I love being uh, doing live theater again. I miss doing it. I grew up doing live theater, so doing it again has been really amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about your version of the classic character? Yeah, I mean, I guess I kind of stole from James Marsden and Enchanted, just over the top and silly. but. You know, within the realm of of the prince, everything for him is like life or death, even though it seems silly. So it was fun. It's it's good to play something fluffy. You play the very wonderful gesture, and you are hilarious. I was rolling in my chair the entire night. What was your favorite part about playing this character? Um, let's see. My favorite part, the interactive, um, the interactivity that I get with the audience. It's uh, it's the one character in the show that is always sort of interacting with the audience, and I have the the most free reign to just go with that. And um, that's I think the thing I love the most. The evil queen. Well, she's quite obsessed with her looks, isn't she? And worried about getting older and being the fairest of the land. But she has a redemption at the end, which is nice. Tonight we are gonna be the seven dwarfs. So we get to like perform, dance, and then a lot of comedy in tonight. We get to have an adventure with Snow White, the Prince, Herman, Muddles. We're gonna have a lot of fun and we're gonna try our best to do, have a nice show. Woo. I'm Prof. I'm Allergy. I'm Simple. I'm Angry. We're the dancers. We're the dancers. <laughs> so anytime you see um, little, little, I don't, know, I don't know how to describe it. Like little, little dance moves. Little dance moves. We, we have different looks. We're like glamorous. We kind of scare Snow White. We are extensions of the queen. It's lots of kinda, different characters. Yeah, we make up a lot of the fun part of the show. So. Musical. Yeah, the musical part. What I really wanted to come out of the whole show is their success and their belief 
in Panto. It's a British tradition, but we had to bring it to America. And what I now think is that the cast believe that it's fun to do Panto. It's fun to do family stuff. And that's what I got out of it. And you know what was really amazing? I could hear children laughing in the audience. And that to me was, yes, we've achieved it. The cast are making the kids laugh. My son wrote it and he's making the kids laugh. And I can't expect more than that, really. Everyone in the show is awesome. Like all the principals, the kids, the dancers, and just being able to perform for kids and how much they love it. I, it's something that I, you know, I, I think I didn't realize how awesome it would be. But experiencing that tonight with actual a live audience, it was great.